I think it's a very important thing for one to understand that uh, if you do not create a culture of saving, it's not possible for you to build enough capital to venture into any business. And even if you're in, into that business and the income from that business, let's say, is a million bob a month, you cannot be spending two million bob in luxuries. You must spend the one million to expand your business and not to, to spend it on luxuries. Luxuries should be part of what you spend on your savings that you do not need to put in business. Everybody does indulge in one thing or another. If you see young people, the first thing they want to, to buy is, an, a, is a Blackberry or an iPad an iPhone, because everybody lacks some, some luxury. But it depends the level of indulgency, the level you get involved in. If you have very pricey girlfriends who want to go to the most expensive uh, dining and uh, who want you to buy them cars or to buy them beautiful watches and clothes, it's not possible that you can succeed in business. So you got to choose. Do you become a spender or do you become a generator of wealth? A lot of young people, even when their parents pass it on and leave them a lot of money, they squander it within a very short time. What I like those kind of guys to do is to see that wealth as a base to generate more wealth and not to depend on their parents' uh, generated wealth to indulge into luxury spend. I think that way you will not succeed because all that wealth will disappear and you go back to square one. And if you do that, you have no way understanding how to generate wealth. So, Everybody must understand that you go to generate wealth and not to spend more than your income in your domestic budgetary income. You must create a portion for saving and a portion for your own luxury spend. And that way you will not be in big debts. You should never borrow what you cannot repay. There are many people who borrow from their friends, and that is the last time their friends will see them. You get nice girls coming saying, please lend me some money. That is the last time you see this particular lady. So the best thing is to give the money and say, I give it to you, it's not a loan. And ask them, how are you spending your own money? So you need to help each other. We need to advise each other. We need to move from poverty. We need to move from dependency. We need to become better savers. The Chinese, the Japanese, the Indians, they all saved and saved and saved money before they, they learned to have appetite to spend. Don't buy a car you cannot afford to fuel. Buy a car that gives you economic uh, mileage and you are able to generate more revenue so that you can buy a better vehicle that you can afford to fuel and maintain. But please, the first thing, save and own a home. There is nobody worth their salt when they continue to live in their parents' house for donkey years. This is not acceptable and you must start generating your own future and uh, your father's base should be just where you started, but your parents would love to see you succeed better than them.